Hey, Joe Alton, MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival website doomandbloom.net, co-author of the Book Excellence Award-winning fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook and designer of quality medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. Today, let's talk about traumatic brain injuries. Traumatic brain injuries, or TBIs, usually occur from a sudden impact to the head. It's a broad term that encompasses many types of damage that can impact the brain. If it affects one area of the brain, it's called a focal injury. If it spans over several areas, it's called a diffuse injury. Severity can range from a mild concussion to a life-threatening situation involving the fracture of the skull. Fortunately, most head injuries aren't lethal and only cause superficial damage, maybe a laceration of the scalp, a black eye, a broken nose, maybe a painful bump. These wounds, however, can hide damage inside the cranium, the part of the skull that contains the brain. It's important for the off-grid medic to recognize when head trauma causes damage that can lead to a bad outcome. Concussions are the most common type of TBI. It's associated with a variety of symptoms that are often immediately apparent, although the effects vary from one individual to the next. Now, classically, you might expect a loss of consciousness. In the vast majority of cases, however, the victim remains completely alert. Headache is usually the most commonly seen symptom and may occur on and off for days afterwards. Other symptoms include dizziness, confusion, nausea, loss of motor coordination, blurred or double vision, slurred speech, ringing in the ear, also called tinnitus, and difficulty focusing on tasks at hand. It should be noted that a physical strike to the head isn't necessary to suffer a concussion. A particularly jarring football tackle, collision, or the violent shaking of an infant, God forbid, can cause a concussion or worse. This is because the brain bounces between the hard bony walls of the cranium. When the injury occurs at the site of the blow of the head, it's called a coup injury, C-O-U-P. Just as often, it can occur on the opposite side of the head as the brain rebounds back and forth, that's known as a contra-coup injury. But let's say a victim has been knocked unconscious. In most cases, they'll regain consciousness in less than two minutes. You can expect them to be foggy, move clumsily, be slow to answer questions, and behave inappropriately. The proverbial, put me in, coach. The victim may not even remember the events immediately prior that led to the injury, like the game score or who their opponent might be. Even if the victim recovers quickly, they'll merit close observation for the next 48 hours. You should examine for evidence of other injuries and determine that the patient has regained normal motor function. Make sure they can move all their extremities with normal range of motion and coordination and strength. A period of relative rest is recommended for the next 48 hours. The victim should avoid strenuous activity and perform duties that don't require serious mental effort. Now, that includes video games. They don't, however, have to be kept awake nor remain in a dark room. There are many who no longer even believe it's necessary to wake the patient periodically if they're asleep as long as they're breathing normally, but some still do to make sure they're easily aroused. The victim can gradually increase daily activities if they don't trigger symptoms. Light exercise and physical activity is tolerated starting a couple of days after the injury actually has been shown to speed recovery, but avoid any activities that could cause another head impact. Headaches, which are common in the aftermath, should be treated with acetaminophen, but avoid ibuprofen or aspirin due to an increased risk of bleeding. In good times or bad, the family medic must always be aware of the signs and symptoms of concussion and other traumatic brain injuries. We'll discuss more severe brain trauma in the near future. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hi, Nurse Amy here. Just wanted to remind you guys not to forget to visit store.doomandbloom.net for all your holiday shopping, gifts for birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, any day actually. If you want to help somebody survive a first aid issue, make sure you go to store.doomandbloom.net.